My name is Lesh Brzezinski. I play with the California Honey Ducks, and you're checking us out at SessionTennis.com. Uh, the Connie Drops first came together as a band of street musicians. We were just playing in the BART stations in Oakland, in the East Bay mostly, and just whenever, wherever we could. And uh, yeah, so we started off as just a trio with a tub bass, a washboard, and a guitar and a trumpet. And that was it. And then we've kind of grown since then over the years. Some of you people prefer a grass fed steak. But you know, Johnny Bones, when he gets loaded, all he wants is that vegan ice cream and cake, yeah. That's why I say goodbye, goodbye to whiskey. And so long to gin. You know I just want my repair. I've got to feel high. Influences for me are Louis Armstrong, this is my dad's favorite music and also became my favorite music as I grew older to be able to appreciate it. Um, so yeah, Louis Armstrong is a great, great influence. Uh, Ray Charles is a huge influence because he crossed so many different genres of music during his time and he could play them all. And I would say another person that's a big influence is uh, Curtis Mayfield is a huge influence on me as well. Just because of his uh, of his political thinking, of his spiritual thinking, uh, that he communicated through amazing music as well. So I love uh, I love all three of those, and everyone in the band does too. We're all big big followers. Of those guys.
album, Rivers of Invitation? Yeah, so our latest album, uh, Rivers of Invitation, it's, it's been out now for about a year. You know, it was an exciting thing. We did it all ourselves at home. We recorded it all in my living room, and it was just a great liberating experience from getting away from doing stuff in the studio where you're under pressure, where you're spending money, and you feel all pressured by the world to get something. This was just us chilling in my house. And uh, I have a lot of dreams with songs in them. So a lot of times I, I bring like the, these basic ideas I have from, the, from my dreams for songs, whether it's some lyrics or some chords or like a groove or whatever. And then I just kind of bring them and then the band kind of, we work, just work them out together. And it was a really fun collaborative kind of thing. And we got, we got to do it in the comfort of my living room, which, you know, which is just real liberating, you know. We were just playing for one another and for the love of the music. It was great. And, and right now we're, we're actually going back into the studio this time where we're doing, working on a double album, which is going to be half all acoustic and half electric. And that's going to be coming out next year. That's going to be called, we don't even have a name for it yet, but it's, it's coming together. We're working on it right now. Yeah, you, you got started on it and other people too. So yeah, you guys can find us, you know, through all the regular stuff, the Facebook, the Instagram. You know, if you're, if we got tons of videos where you can see the, the whole history of the band because we've been around for a while from us playing on a washboard and a tub bass to, to the newer stuff. So yeah, it's all out there on the internet for you to find and come out to a show because really what we pride ourselves is on being a live band, on being a band that interacts with the crowd and makes the show different every night. We don't do set lists. We just get out there and kind of feel, feel it out. So I think the live thing is a special experience and I invite you all to it even if you don't like our music because you might have Check us out at sessiondates.com.